Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Thursday afternoon. I hope you're well. I hope you're looking after yourself. It is bitterly cold outside. So if you're doing anything outside, wrap up warm and look after yourself. And listen to me, of course. You know, I'm warming, aren't I? I know. Uh, this video, yeah, this video is a bit more of a substantial video around the Samuel Illing Jr. situation, the Juventus winger. So we've got... Uh, a team talk report. We have a report from Daniele Longo as well as Calcio Mercato. So plenty all around him as well. And we do have a supposed evaluation, which I think you're going to definitely want to know about. It's very interesting to get into that. Just want to say, if you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join this lovely community. And it'd be lovely to have more and more of you join us along for this amazing journey. There you go. You did it. I know you did it. We're jumping in. Let's talk. Samuel Illing Jr., the English under-21 Juventus winger. So, bit of a backstory. Yeah, a few weeks ago, we kind of got alerted that Spurs were kind of in this market, sniffing around, seeing what's going on. Does he smell nice? Yeah, he smells all right. Ooh, would he be all right over here? I don't know. We kind of got a bit of a, a taster, an appetizer. We're hitting some starters now. So, we're kind of starting to see a bit more of a concrete showing of the interest but also what the valuation looks like and don't forget when we talk about Juventus Don Paratici is still still a, he's still connected to Tottenham he still can give you Agnelli's number here you go I've got you sorted with Juventus you're, you're on the call in two hours bosh he can still do that he's allowed to do that so let me start with Danny Daniele Longo <clears throat> and obviously I've had to um I've had to translate a bit of this because it's all in Italian. And it said that Tottenham will make an attempt for Samuel Ulling Jr. in January. The English midfielder born in 2003 can leave Juve, right? Okay, all right. Well, you know, I think I think he was always up for transfer. You know, every player has a price, you know. And I think Spurs evidently are intrigued by an attacker. He also then reposted the Calcio Mercato um, post. And I, again, translated it and it goes... Illing finances the big move in midfield and the super valuation for Tottenham. So we start, I was like, oh, valuation. That's got my name, my eyes screaming out for that. So I jumped in and I had a little look. And uh, it went, again, this is all translated. So if some of the English is not great. I mean, translation is always a bit of a bit of a nuisance. Um, it said Tottenham and super rating. On, on Illing Jr. is ready to bet Tottenham for what he what could come yet another hit from Serie A. The interest is concrete since last summer when the Spurs had probed the ground with a Juve already quite willing to talk about it in front of a proposal of about 20 million euros. So about, I think it's like 17, 18 million pounds, okay? He said, now the valuation could fall by a few million, around 18 million, considering the difficulties encountered by the English talent in carving out a space with Allegri. London calls and Juve responds, from the sale of Ealing Jr. can come the liquidity necessary to finance a big shot in the midfield already in the January market. Pierre Hoiberg. Potentially, potentially. I'm not, you know, it's not outrageous to think that, that could be in there, but they're, they're supposedly wanting some from Sassuolo. I didn't see who it was and, nor did I really care if I'm honest right this second. So when we look at about 18 million euros, well, let's call it 15 million pounds. A couple of points. If this data-driven system that Johan Lang has been a, a big believer in, he's been a guy that has done very well with this uh, data system, then yeah, if, it's, if it's dragged his name up to say this guy, you know, he suits this system, then fine. He hasn't really played any football, but the caveat to that is Allegri doesn't exactly play the most um, attacking, sexy football you could think of. Conte, Mourinho, Allegri, it's all quite similar. The Juventus aren't a big goal scoring team. So Chiesa is like their guy and Chiesa obviously is a fantastic player, but he's, a very, he's an anomaly in that system. That system is built around... Making sure that if you get a goal from like a set piece, you sit back and hold on to it, right? He doesn't suit that. And I think you can get it for a cut price. If, if Juventus, look, Juventus have financial fair play restrictions and they want to be able to reinvest into their midfield. They're going to look at him as a, as a casualty to that to say, look, if we move him on, then we'll get money for our midfield. Boom, we're flying. I think you can get him for maybe 12 and a half to 15 million pounds, which I think nowadays isn't a lot. And it's worth that punt. You know, he's a Chelsea graduate. He's an English under 21 international. He clearly has talent. There's no denying it. We just haven't seen enough of it. And I think in a system like Andrew's system with attacking football, 
You know, you bring him in, you give him 15, 20 minutes at the end of games just to let him run at tired defenders. You might start then to see the confidence develop. Then you start to see half an hour, 60 minutes, 70, 80, 90. And to be honest, when you look at our attack, it's good. It's good. But, I mean, the goal scoring and the assist making is a bit, it's a bit lapsed at times. You know, we, we're not getting a ton from Johnson. We love Kulu. Kulu works hard, but we don't get a lot from Kulu. Son scores goals. Okay. Solomon's injured. Richardson hasn't given us tons. Perisic is out for the season. You start to look at it and go, we could probably do with another body, but also kind of like a different style of attack. And I think that's what Ealing Jr. is a bit more, he's a bit different. As much as Kulusevsky's direct, he's not very quick. You can kind of see what he's about to do. He does very well to still be able to try and do it, but, it, you know, you, he's a little bit more limited. With Brennan Johnson, It's if he's on the right, he's going to run you around the outside. If he's on the left, he's probably going to try and pass it because he doesn't want to have to use his left foot as much. Solomon is a bit more tricky, but, you know, he, he's decent. I like Solomon. I do think he's a, he's a good option. He's a bit he's a bit different like that. Um, Richie, we'll have to see. To be honest, I think he's going to be crucial in January when we've got no striker. He'll be playing up front, I can promise you that. Because he's going to be back around Christmas time, they've said. So he's going to be back before Son has to go to the uh, to the national team. He's going to be playing up front to get used to it. I could do with another attacking option. Because Solomon, we don't know exactly when he's back. Richie, we know he's back. Paris has gone for the season. Brennan Johnson, Kulisevsky, Richie, Veliz. We'll call Solomon in there. You need another one. So yeah, hopefully we do look at another one. If it is a junior and that's what they truly want, then I'm all for it. But yeah, it does sort of look like, and then Team Talk, by the way, just to give you an idea, they did say that their valuation is around 17.4 million. And I still think you can get them for about 15, if I'm honest. 12 and a half, 15. Even if it's a loan with an obligation, I don't know. I think because Juve needs the money, I think you're probably going to have to get him now in the summer, buy him now. And then other deals, you might have to look with a loan with an obligation. But 12 to half, 15 million Spurs should just do it. If that's what they, if it's what Ange wants, and he's the number one target, and this is how I look at it, if he's the number one target, do it. Pull the trigger, get it done. They clearly want him gone. He clearly probably wants to move because he wants to get some more football in, in probably in more of an attacking system. We need the winger. He's a London boy. Everything starts to add up. So hopefully we'll see. But anyway, guys, the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comment section below. 12 and a half, 15, 17 and a half, somewhere in that realm for, for Illing Jr. Are you taking the punt? I am. I want to know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, the end of the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.